Okay, uh, so today I wanted to show you what I referred to as my blended lip trick. Uh, you can do this with pretty much anything, any like color. Um, you're just gonna need like a couple lip liners and maybe a couple lipsticks. Oh, and a brush, a really good brush. Um, the trick to this, and we'll jump into it in a second, is a really good lip brush. Now I personally think that most lip brushes are like stiff as f Like I just think that they're so stiff and like the, they don't blend well. So there's a few that I use, but my favorite recently has been, this isn't even supposed to be a lip brush, but it's the Refer Number 3 brush. And it's super duper like, look at that, soft, so soft. Uh, and it's just great for blending your lips. Like it's perfect because it's pointed. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna start off with a neutral mid-toned liner. Anything that's like, whatever the base color that you want, basically. This is Smashbox Be Legendary in Fair Neutral Rose. And I'm going to use this to fill and do basically, or to line and do basically like an initial fill of my lips. My mouth is very crooked, so I always try to even it out. It's not the easiest though. Now I'm gonna, from the edge, just kind of fill all around, focusing it on the edges. Helps to exfoliate your lips, but I didn't do that. All right, now you want your base lipstick. So what color do I wanna use? Uh, all right, I'm gonna go in with Milani 410 Pleasure. This color. And I'm gonna focus this in the center of the lip, but blending into that lip liner. I'm blending just like with my lips right now before we go in with our brush. Now I wanna use something that's more like a little darker to create a little bit of dimension, but I don't want it to be like so much darker. I don't want it to be like so cool toned. So this, I think this is dark enough. This is Vive Muse lip liner in the shade Brat. So I'm gonna focus this on the outer corner, kind of creating a line and fading it as I go up. And I'm gonna do this on every corner. Okay, now for those corners, I'm gonna kind of like flatten my lip liner and I'm gonna fill. And then it kind of depends on how pouty you want it to be, but you can do the same thing on your Cupid's bow and like the very bottom of your lip. So just kind of define this. And then just underneath. All right, before I blend the dark, I'm going to go in with, uh, is this what I wanted? I'm gonna go in with Hora from Melt Cosmetics, right in the, literally right in the center. And I'm keeping that underneath the beveled part of my lip. Now, you can either just do this with the lip liner, like go in with the brush and blend pretty much around the edges, but sometimes I like to pick up a slightly darker lipstick and do it, so I'm gonna grab Makeup by Mario Kate, and I'm gonna use this. So I'm going to dip my brush into the lipstick. And I'm going to kinda start by placing it like I did the dark lip liner. I'm gonna really slowly start blending it into the rest of the lipstick. Okay, listen, yes, it's a lot of steps, but fuck, I love it. It creates like such a dimensional, like structured, like pouty, almost bratty lip, you know? And you can do this without like overlining like crazy. Um, I'm still trying to adjust 
my overlining. Lately I'm caught in this like weird place where I feel like I need to really even them out and then they end up getting like even more uneven. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Sometimes I pop a little bit of a gloss in the center or uh, just like pat it with my fingers or something I've been doing recently, a little bit of a liquid highlighter. Kind of amazing. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to share like a more in-depth blended lip. Um, you can omit some steps and keep it a little bit more simple, but I personally just think this makes it so like, mm. uh, okay, hope you enjoyed. And um, that's all I got for you. So I'm gonna go and uh, bye.